All right, good. To, I see you're smiling. I like that. Toby, we are looking at the 2016 Rio Olympics. What was the experience like for you? Um, it was the greatest experience ever because my dream was to make it to the Olympics and be an Olymp and achieve that. Mm. You didn't just achieve that. You made it to the semis in your event. Walk me through the experience. Um, you know, my aim was just to take each race one at a time, but... Unfortunately, I didn't make it to the finals, but I'm not, I tried my best because I had the longest season anyone can say in Nigeria. So I'm glad I ended my season with the 12-9. Still better. 12-9, mm, mm. and at some point, you had um, a little bit of luck going for you. What were the major lessons you picked out of the Olympics, particularly knowing that you, you were racing amongst the world's best? Um, the lesson is never to look down on yourself, be confident about what you can do, and just keep pushing on the positive, positive mind and keep praying. You know, that's just the, the, the lesson out of the Olympics, just the positive mind. And with God, I know everything is possible. And for Team Nigeria, uh, Tobilola, t t tell me, um, how much support, not just you, the Team Nigeria athletes receive from the Ministry of Sports and every other official that was with you guys at the games. You know, they were really supportive. They they came out there to encourage us. That was the least we expected. But they came out to know that they were on our side and they did not pressurize anybody on getting a the medal. They just told us to go in there and do our best. So I think they're the best officials ever. Mm. Toby, you're back in Texas. Uh, what's going on with you? What should we be expecting from you next? You know, like I said, one thing at a time. Right now, I'm, I just resume back to school. I'm focusing on, on my academics. I have a two-month break before my fall training starts. Mm, fall training. Uh, Toby, uh, yeah, a lot of people are still trying to understand the whole those events. Besides that, any special skill from you? Should you be expected to be competing in another form of event? Um, if I'm to compete in another event, I'll try the 200 meters. <laughs> tell me, tell me why. Tell me why you, you're looking at the 200 meters. <laughs> you know, 100 meters is not just my thing. If I go there, all I'm going to run is 11.5. And, you know, that sounds horrible, kind of. But when I go to the 200 meters, I see myself running PRs every time. So I think I'm more better in the 200 than 100 meters. So if I'm to combine both, 100 meters and 200 meters. <laughs> I know you work uh, with um, an experienced coach that has always been there for you, uh, but the coach wasn't with you in Rio. How important is coaching in terms of an athlete going to a major competition at the Olympics and winning medals? You know, it's 100%. I'm not going to put it like my coach is always there whenever I need her because each time she's there, she motivates me even when I feel discouraged. She's always able to motivate me, but I felt so bad because she wasn't there at the Olympics. And some coaches that were around, they were not giving me the 100% motivation I needed, just like how my coach used to do. But I still went there with the fact that she's not there, but I had the, the thing in my head like, oh, she's here phys uh, mentally, even though she's not here physically. So I went there to make her proud, which I did. Mm. Toby, thank you so much for speaking to us on the program. We <laughs> will continue to monitor your progress. Stay focused. 2020 is not far away. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, 2020. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to be looking at 100 meters old love for Team Nigeria. She's an Olympian.